Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, the 7th of October. I'm James Spam. Alabama's weather stays warm and dry tomorrow. A chance of showers by Friday afternoon and then a pretty good wet down on Saturday thanks to what is now Hurricane Delta. A lot to talk about today, so here we go. There's the upper air look. A little weakness in the flow over Texas, and that will help to pull Delta up toward the Louisiana coast on Friday. But today, the weather very nice. Nothing but sunshine for the northern half of the state. Got a few fair weather cumulus clouds across the southern counties. And very warm today as expected. Tuscaloosa, 87. Birmingham, 84. Anniston, 83. Back in the 80s tomorrow. Then highs drop back in the 70s on Friday as clouds increase. Up north, we have wind advisories for parts of the northeast United States. And, of course, what you see over Louisiana, that is a hurricane watch issued earlier today in advance of Hurricane Delta. Got a marginal risk of severe storms over the northeast United States for the rest of today and tonight. Otherwise, things are quiet. Tomorrow, there's a marginal risk across southeast Louisiana and coastal Mississippi in advance of Delta. And pretty much the same zone on day three, which is Friday. This includes the southwest corner of Alabama. And again, this outlook runs through 7 a.m. Saturday. And they might pull that marginal risk up into West Alabama during the day Saturday. We'll find out when the new day three comes out tonight. Here's a look at the rain for the next seven days. Big numbers back in the Pacific Northwest. And the big numbers with Delta west of Alabama. Amounts between three and five inches, parts of western Mississippi, eastern Louisiana. In Alabama, the amounts one to two inches north of Interstate 59 and also down in southwest Alabama, under one inch elsewhere. So no flooding expected on Saturday when Delta passes west of the state. Speaking of Delta, sustained winds at 100 miles per hour. This is over the Gulf now. This traversed the northern tip of the Yucatan this morning. The hurricane moving northwest at 17, and most likely it will re-strengthen in coming days. Here's the new track from the Hurricane Center. It's expected to be a major hurricane by tomorrow morning. That would be a Category 3. And again, landfall expected on the western Louisiana coast during the day Friday. The remnant circulation coming up through the Mississippi Delta Saturday morning, north of Nashville by Sunday morning, and up into West Virginia by Monday morning. And again, we got very good agreement with the modeling here. That's the tropical set. This is the rain directly associated with Delta, the bigger numbers near the Mississippi River west of Alabama. And this is the uh, surge forecast for the Alabama Gulf Coast in Mobile Bay, a surge of two to four feet expected. Of course, the bigger numbers back over the Louisiana coast along into the east of the point of landfall. Let's look at the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4. A little trough over Texas, helping to pull Delta northward. But for us, the day will be warm and dry. There could be a few showers near the Gulf Coast in extreme South Alabama. We're expecting mid-80s again tomorrow. Friday, clouds will increase. We'll have a chance of showers during the day. Delta nearing the Louisiana coast. And notice the GFS on this run a little farther to the west. <coughs> a little bit of an outlier. But still for us, cloudy, a chance of showers, not raining all day. High should be in the middle 70s. Showers becoming more widespread Friday night. And again, for the Alabama Gulf Coast, uh, storm surge 2 to 4 feet. But rain amounts not that excessive, 1 to 2 inches for Mobile and Baldwin counties. And they'll see winds of 20, 25 miles an hour. But again, nothing like Sally. This is Saturday, the GFS depicting the remnant circulation near Greenville, Mississippi. And for Alabama, Saturday's going to be wet, breezy. Have uh, rain a pretty decent chunk of the day. We'll be in the 70s all day. and But again, the, the big flooding issue or threat will be well to the west of here. We will be watching the instability. This is the significant tornado parameter, and this will adjust back and forth. But at some point, there could be a risk of a few brief isolated tornadoes across the state if we can see some instability, and that remains to be seen. Uh, we will fine-tune that uh, tomorrow, tomorrow. But other than that, we don't expect any big problems, no Tree and power line damage, no really strong wind, just a breezy, wet day on Saturday. Sunday, the remnant circulation moving up into Kentucky. Any showers 
will be ending most likely Sunday morning. And then Monday, we're warm and dry. Highs go back in the mid-80s, much like today. But a cold front coming in on Tuesday. And again, the models are trending toward a dry frontal passage. The air just too dry to support rain. And this is a week from today, Wednesday the 14th, the big trough in the east, and a cool, dry air mass. That'll get us well down in the 40s that morning. We'll go out 10 days. This is Saturday the 17th, the northwest flow aloft, and again, a dry, pleasant air mass. Rain for Birmingham, the mean about one to one and a half inches, and the bulk of that will be on Saturday with Delta passing west of here. Temperatures, you can see that nice cool down toward the end of next week with highs dropping in the low 70s and lows dropping in the low 50s. Probably going to be colder than that in many spots with 40s. And hot off the press, the brand new CPC Outlook. This is October 15th through the 21st, showing temperatures here a little below average if this verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. There are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more.